Okay. Let's see. Problem 10. Problem 10. We have, it says, okay, Fred drives an average of 15,000 miles per year, and his car gets 20 miles per gallon of gasoline. Okay? Uh, the average cost of gasoline is 325 per gallon. He buys a new car. In his new car, Fred continues to average 15,000 miles per year, and the average cost of gasoline remains the same. Approximately how many more miles per gallon does the new car get if Fred has a savings of $650 per year on gasoline? Okay, so first let's just try and figure out how much... Uh, let's just take down the information we have and see what we can piece together from that. So. Fred drives an average of 15,000 miles per year. So he's driving, he drives 15,000 miles per year. Okay, I'm just taking down the key piece of information. And his current car, his car gets 20 miles per gallon. So I'll just say current car gets 20 miles per gallon. Okay. And the average cost of gasoline is 325. So cost is uh, cost for gas is 325 per gallon. And that price has gone down some recently, but for the sake of this problem, it's 325. Okay, so let's just try and find out how much he's spending on gasoline uh, currently with his current car. So the way we want to do that, let's just find out how many gallons he's using and multiply that by the cost. So if he's going 15,000 total miles in a year and he gets 20 miles, so I'm going to just do 15,000 divided by 20. This means 15,000 divided by 20. That means he's going to be using 750, 750 gallons total. Okay. So this is 50, I did just 15,000 miles total divided by 20 uh, miles per gallon. My miles canceled out and I was just left with 750 gallons is how much he's going to use in a year. So now that I know how many gallons he uses, I can find out how much that's going to cost him. So we've got 750 gallons multiplied by the price per gallon, that's 325. So 325. Okay, it's dollars per gallon. This is gallons. So here, my gallons in this case, this gallons being divided by gallons. So these guys cancel out. I'm just going to be left with 750 multiplied by 3.25 gives me 2400, or gives me 2437.50. So this is how much he's currently spending on gasoline, $2,437.50. That's his current expenses. Okay, now we're saying approximately how many more gallons per how many more miles per gallon does the new car get if Fred has a savings of $650 per year on gasoline? Okay, so to solve this, let's look at what we did. So what we did what we did was we said, okay, uh, to find out how much he's spending total, it was just his number of gallons multiplied by the gas price, right? That was what we did to find out how much is he spending. Now for number of gallons, the way we figured out how many number of gallons he used, that was just the um, total miles divided by the uh, miles per gallon of car. Right, so the total miles divided by the miles per gallon of the car, that's how we got to 750. And the gas price was given to us, that's just 325. So we said this, the number of gallons times the gas price, gives us our cost. Okay, so let's just then fill in the piece of information we know for this and then use that to figure out this part here. We want it's telling us to find out um, how many miles per gallon the new car gets. So let's just plug in what we know. So here, we're saying the total number of miles, that doesn't change. So that's still 15,000. I'll just replug that in. We still have 15,000. That's not changing. Okay, I put that back in. Gas price, that also is not changing. So that's just going to put that back in. 325 for our gas price. Now the cost, the cost does change, but we know 
how it changes. We know that the cost, the total cost is going to be $650 less than our cost for our old car. So let's just take our old car value, which is $2,437.50, and subtract $650 from that. That gives us $1,787.50. So our total cost for our new car is $1,787.50. This is now 50, okay? And the thing we don't know, the thing we need to find is the miles per gallon of our new car. Miles per gallon of the new car. So now we just have a, have a basic algebra equation. So actually, instead of saying, instead of writing all that, I'm going to say miles per gallon of new car. Instead of writing all that out, I'm just going to call that uh, X. So that's what I'm trying to find out. So that, I'll just call it X so I don't have to keep writing it. Okay, that's our unknown. Okay, so now to find this, we just got to isolate X. So first, um, I'm going to, I want to cancel this 325 that's multiplying by it. So I'll divide out both sides by 325, divide by 325, divide by 325. These cancel. 1787.5 divided by 325. This gives me 550. So I've got 1500 over x equals 550 okay and I'm just going to erase this stuff on the side at that point now because we don't really we've already shown all this so I'm gonna erase this stuff so it just can give myself some more space okay let's just clear that up okay so we got 1500 over x equals 550 over x equals 550. You could just take the reciprocal of both sides, or the way I like doing these typically is I'll just multiply both sides by x. These cancel out. I get 1500 equals 550 times x. Now I'll just divide both sides by 550. Okay, cancels out. Now 1500 divided by 550. 1500 divided by 550 equals 2.73. So 2.73 equals x. So how many miles? How many more miles per gallon does the new car get if Fred has a savings of $650 per year on gasoline? Well, I messed it up somewhere. And the spot I messed it up was pretty silly, pretty small little area. Uh, pretty small area where I messed it up was right here. Instead of saying 1,500, it wasn't 1,500. It was 15,000. 15,000. Change these to 15,000. Let's recalculate that, but now with 15,000. So 15,000 divided by 550 equals 27.27 or 27.3. So x is 27.3. This is my new miles per gallon. Now it's saying how many more miles per gallon does the new car get if Fred has a savings of $650? So 27.3 is how much more than 20? So 27.3 is how much more than 20? That would just be 7.3 miles per gallon more. So that's going to be our answer choice B. Okay.